one of the most prominent Apple analysts does not want you to get too excited about Tesla Robotoxy reveal event. In a matter of hours, Tesla will finally unveil the newest addition to its product portfolio, the much-anticipated Robotoxy. In our view, though, CyberCap simply sounds a lot cooler. Of course, by tomorrow, we will know exactly what Tesla ends up calling its latest product, which is expected to personify the very ethos of the F-Giant's FSD-related ambitions. Yet, Minkai Kuo, one of the most prominent Apple supply chain analysts, does not want you to get too excited. To wit, Minkai Kuo has leveraged his supply chain surveys to conclude that the Tesla Robotoxy will only be able to enter into mass production by the first quarter of 2027. The analyst also believes that this delayed rollout is, at least in part, due to the fact that the FSD capability of Tesla's bespoke advanced driver assistance system, ADAS, still needs some time to achieve the level 4 autonomy that is a fundamental requirement for regulatory authorization. The analyst also notes. Because mass production is still some time away, expectations for a significant rally in $TSLA following the event may be overly optimistic. Of course, at the other end of the spectrum, Kathy Wood's ARK Invest has quoted Elon Musk's comments to note that Tesla will be able to achieve the robotoxy enabling requisite level of autonomy by next year, setting the stage for a formal launch in the next year or two. ARK Invest Stasha Kini goes on to note, even before full autonomy is achieved, Tesla could launch a human-driven ride hail service, which would collect valuable data on routes, customer behavior, and operational dynamics while also informing its service infrastructure and building its customer base. So, pick your poison, Minkai Kuo's channel checks suggest an early 2027 launch, while ARK Invest relies on Elon Musk's comments to suggest a launch window in 2025 to 2026. Of course. Musk has not been a paragon of fidelity when it comes to the timeline of Tesla's product launches. After all, the CEO of Tesla has been promising full autonomy for nearly a decade now. And then we have the comment. S from the judge in a recently concluded FSD-related lawsuit, where Musk's FSD-related embellishments were termed corporate puffery. Interestingly, Keeney suggests that Tesla could jumpstart its Robotoxy service by deploying a fleet of existing Model 3 and Model Y vehicles, including those coming off lease and out of inventory, with customer self-enrollments also adding to the Robotoxy fleet. Presumably, Tesla will be able to deploy its Robotoxy services a lot faster than Waymo, especially as it does not need to rely on geofencing and very detailed, HD mapping of eligible areas. However, do note that, as per the data from California DMV, Waymo records a disengagement every 17,311 miles on average, which is far, far above what Tesla can currently achieve. Meanwhile, here is what we know about Tesla's Robotoxy, CyberCap so far. It is expected to share the same platform that the F giant intends to leverage for rolling out its cheaper sub-$30,000 Model 2. The vehicle's camouflage damage suggested that it LG be a very small vehicle. Now, Bloomberg has reported that the Robotoxy will feature butterfly wing doors and just two seats. On the hardware front, the Robotoxy will support Tesla's successor to the HW3 and HW4, the AI5, with around 10x the capability of the HW4. Also, some have analyzed the camouflaged Robotoxy picture to suggest that the AI5 might even sport a LiDAR, 